That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. I hear an echo. Now we're good, we're good. Um, I hear an echo. Now we're good, we're good. Um, I hear an echo. Now we're good, we're good. Mute myself real quick. Mute myself real quick. All right, hopefully there's no echo being heard or said, blah, blah, blah. Good, okay. All righty. Well, that happens. Oh, this is the wrong account again. Here we go. This is the right account. Finally home. Okay. Uh, do 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 do. do. Uh, here. Right, let me just make sure everything crystal clear. Yes, then. Pop up. Pop up. That thing not really popping up. Oh, that's why I had it removed. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Now we're good. Now we are good. All right, we got 12 minutes left. I can't really do anything in 12 minutes, but hey, we're here now as a cohesive unit. I might make myself bigger. There we go, that's, that's, big, that's big enough. <laughs> Twelve minutes for showtime. Let me make sure I'm still good on my Twitch. Uh, I'm gonna beat this real quick just to make sure I'm okay. Testing, testing. Okay, yeah, we're good. No echoes. We're, we're, we're fine. We're peachy. We're in here. We're doing this live. We're doing this bigger than ever. Saints Row, disappointment, but hey, you know, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about, I don't know, something good here. <laughs> something great here. For the first time, I'm actually early for this game's calm thing. A little, uh, uh, not a convention. I guess it's a convention. I'm finally early for one. I think this is over a period of four days, Game Con. Games Calm. Uh... I think Thursday is a Microsoft one, so I need to watch that one. Wednesday, I think, is Future Games, which sometimes have hit or miss games. So I'm not really going to watch that one. But Tuesday, I think, is the, the grand opening of the Gamescom. I think this is going to be the first time um, they have people there since COVID started. Which was, that was the time. Uh, I should probably grab something to drink. But I'm good. We're here. Ten minutes. Here we go. People want Sonic Frontiers in the chat over here. Sonic Frontier. Gotham Knights. We might see some Gotham Knights. I think we're going to see Sonic Frontier. <laughs> we're not going to see Alien Isolation 2. That's never going to happen again. That's that's not going to happen. Well, Portune Graydon. Okay. Ah. Ten minutes left. What to do? What to do? I'm not even sure myself. I start multiverses in this time frame. Let's see. Can I? Nah, I won't have time. It takes like two minutes to boot up the game anyway. That's on PC for that reason. Anti cheat thing, that's what that's why. Uh, 
I'm trying to see because I know GTA won't take take two won't be on here. Uh, Sony won't be in here this event. There's some other games that won't be here. Like they confirmed that they're not going to be in this event. I just probably just load it even more. I don't have time to start a game. That's going to take too long. Close my game. I do know that um, I think in either two or four hours, the Midnight Express fight game, um, I think that's coming out to Game Pass soon, which I really want to play that one. Can't close multiverses, like it refuses to close. Closed, aren't you closed? <laughs> Eight minutes left. Let me, let me just make sure. We got a lot of time left. Let me just um, um what to expect, right? Oops. Ah, get that off my screen. Get that Saints Row off my screen. Oh yes, five days or twenty eight, twenty four, twenty five. Six days. Um there's Jeff. Uh, Jeff, please, please keep the talking to the minimum. I just want to see games. I hear you talk a lot. Awesome Indies. That's going to be good. That's going to be good to see. Awesome Indies, I think. Uh, yeah, here's the publishers. All right. Oh, 2K is going to be just not take two. Or take, yeah, take two. Ah, Bandai Namco. Okay. Nordic, THQ Nordic, I think for the AEW game. That we saw. XP, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 500 companies, that's a lot. Oh yeah, of course, Nintendo. And Activision Blizzard, I mean, I don't really care about Blizzard. Take-Two is gonna release a GTA 5, again, like a DLC or something. They're not gonna ever make a GTA 6. It's never happening. Nintendo, yeah, that makes sense. A PlayStation, that makes sense, all right, that's fine. Yo, get Saints Row off my screen. Why is it still here? Tuesday is going to be the opening, you know. Because announcements, I want to see that. Wednesday is for Spoken. I don't really care about for Spoken right now. Um, yeah, Wednesday doesn't really intrigue me as much. But Thursday, that's the uh, Microsoft Xbox uh, event showcasing. 2 p.m. again? Okay, I can do that. Minecraft Legends, yeah, that's that, um, I don't know what to call that type of game, but okay, okay. Life of P? I don't know what that is. I don't really care about the simulator, okay. Oh, Street Fighter 6, okay. I'm, I'm actually, oh, there's my, there's AEW, All Elite Wrestling. Um, haven't really watched it, but I know some some people from it. Uh, the Dark Pictures, oh, the Until... Dawn team, yep, yep. Spray Blade, don't know what that is, but Street Fighter 6, I might actually get that game if it's lives up to the hype. They release more than eight characters when they launch. On Friday. Friday, uh, nothing really on Friday for me. I care about. Also, Indies might be something, but that's at 5 30. No, that's 11 30. My fault. I can't read. Let me see what people are making up here in the Indies. Uncle Chop Rocket Ship Shop. Nobody saves the world, I think. Yeah, I think the game's out already for that. Saturday is just an award. Don't really care about that. Um, and con cosplay contest. Don't care about that. All right, so it's really it's gonna be today, Thursday, and maybe Friday. No. Yeah, Friday. I look forward to. We'll see. Okay. How much time did I kill? Oh, it says it right here. Four minutes. Shut up, IGN. <laughs> Got this on it. All right, well. Four minutes and 30 seconds. 
Let's see what we about to see. Let's see what we about to see. I gotta make sure I'm on YouTube as well. Perfectly fine. Yeah, we're good, we're goody, we're goody. Now hopefully I'll cover up whatever they show when the game starts or when they start the event. Love your games, Beast Video. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. They're they're really fun making them. Uh, Young Hermit Crab. They are tons of fun to make. Don't worry, I got I got a lot more cooking in the in the reserves. <laughs> they are fun to make. But how you been, Young Hermit Crab? I'm glad you stopped by. I really wish they make some more Game Beast content. Ooh. Five more videos left of Game Beast if I make them. I can make some more. Three minutes. Probably turn this up, huh? I've been good. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Yeah, I know my Twitch is kind of delayed too. Or my Twitch, my uh, stream is kind of delayed. Oh, 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 this all kind of banging. Hold on. Some kind of heat. Turn it up. Uh, any games you're looking forward to? I don't have a game in mind right now. There's one game that came out today, Saints Row, but let's talk about that. Um, but other than that, I don't really have any games I'm looking forward to right now. Maybe this game con might might intrigue me. Might show something I wanna wanna get. Mm, two minutes left. All right, come on, come on, ow. Two minutes left. I probably should grab something to drink, but it's too late for that now. Hopefully, the audio is not too loud. The game, I mean, the music audio. I just really hope Jeff doesn't just start talking, rambling on, wasting my time in this game convention or game con. I do think people are gonna be here for one. Oh. You ever play horror games? I have. Um, currently, I have bought this game called Madison. It's like a you can, like carry a camera around as you walk through hallways. I have that. I was actually planning on buying all the Resident Evil series because I think I can get it for cheap, possibly. Um, I played Until Dawn way in the past before. I love that game. That game was fun. I kind of want to get the quarry, but I might wait a little bit. Any other horror games I played? I mean, Dying Light's not really a horror game, but I played Dying Light, if that's a horror game to you. <laughs> um, but currently, probably Madison right now is a horror game. I need to get back to playing. And what was it? In the back rooms? I played a little bit of that. That that was scary. <laughs> that was scary. But I had to finish it, though. I need to play. I need to man up and finish in the back rooms. They got some, car they got some scary creatures in there. <laughs> Twenty seconds. Are you a scary gamer, uh, young hermit crab? Y H C. Here we go. Seven seconds. Time to put the glasses on so I can see what I'm looking at. <laughs> Ugh. Here we go. Start me up. Start it up. Yeah? Oh, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Oh, 18 plus? Uh-oh. Um, there's another game I think they might show. I think it's Calypso Protocol. That might be a good game to play. It's like a Dead Space. Dead Space! I need to, I've never played Dead Space. I might play that. 
I think it's on the Game Pass too. Please welcome oh, to yeah. the stage the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keighley. I'll, I'll clap, Jeff. You, maybe you change, Jeff. Maybe you change your ways of talking endlessly. Oh my God! Hello, everybody. First time we have people in like two years, I think, at this it game. It's so comp. great to have a live crowd with us yeah. here in Cologne, Germany, for Gamescom 2022. I'm Jeff Keeley, and I gotta say, I am so excited to be here with you. They better get we active this in this 2019 crowd. 2019 live in person in Germany, yeah. and then the past two years we oh, had to do years, virtually years. from Los Angeles. And in 2020, the first show that my team did together live was that August, Gamescom, and we connected with all of you virtually. And the fact that we're back oh, yeah. here in person, I don't want to ever take this for granted before. So, uh, guys, are you ready for a fun show? Yes. I want to see some bangers. Well, I got to say, we have a lot of great stuff for you tonight. All right. Tons of world premieres. The entire oh, tons of world come premieres. together okay. to showcase the future for you. We've got games like Sonic Frontiers. I do like that. The Callisto Protocol. Yes, I like that. Outlast Trials, Hogwarts Legacy, Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights. And that might be something. a lot of surprises of things that we a didn't talk about in advance. So we've got some Dead good stuff for you Island tonight. 2. I've been hearing Gamescom. stuff about that. Dead and Island 2, please. I can't please. wait to get started. We've got two hours of stuff. So it's been like 10 years. Right I'm it? still hopeful. I'm still hopeful. I should be hopeful. All right. I love the roar of a live crowd, and because we got a live crowd, we got to surprise you with some stuff tonight, too. So let's start things off with our first world premiere. It's a new world from a brand new team that has a bold vision. Let's okay. check this out. This is what we got here. What we got here, Jeff? World premiere. We want the community build this we wanted to be their world okay we want to this person tell is. their stories in their game but as a kid ah, that's what's up that's what's up i love Dead Island, Dead Island too play never played riptide i should probably play that too i have it just never played it to share amazing experiences the goals are to make an experience that's unlike any other which is hmm. such an exciting thing to be part of i think okay. ultimately like that's kind of been the big ambition is to create this kind of like open world that can be built out in every direction. I think it's every day is a new discovery and it's constantly growing. We've put a lot of focus, I think, on the current <laughs> I'm sorry, let me and what it phone. means to represent yourself digitally. This is more than a game. It's a labor of love. It's there we a go. Of passion. The dream is to create a whole new world for the next generation of gamers, and I think that we've we've kind of captured that. Okay, I'm talking about right, right. part in this. It's not going to be just our game. It's not going to be just what we decide to do with it. There's Sorry. something in it that will definitely appeal to you, no matter what it is that you love to do. The really thrilling aspect of all this is that people can get to see what we're doing for the first oh, time. Big hype right so here. excited for people to see what we've been spending the last five years pouring our hearts and souls into. And I'm excited to see how they feel about it, even though they will have to wait just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Become more than just What's a video. Can I see some little, little something something? Today, we're delighted to give you a peek behind the curtain at what we've been working on. Okay, let me see this peek behind the curtain. Let me. Let me see what's in this car. Let me. <laughs> oh, they singing. You know it's about to be something. It might be something here. Okay. Okay. Driving. Okay, this is the oh. I'm curious what the theme. Oh, I see some combat. Dang it, this is like a like open world, like virtual type. Oh. Okay, driving, shooting, Pat platforming. This feels like a game where you can like like do everything you can in here, like um everywhere. Oh. What, was that, what was that game called on PlayStation? I can't. Oh, okay. All right, took a took a dark turn all of a sudden. Everywhere dot game. That that might be something to look into. That might be something. Okay. That might have potential. There you go, everywhere, and I'm sure you've got a ton of questions. And yes. joining me now oh, for Build oh, Around questions is Adam Whiting to hopefully answer some of those because. I we're a little confused, but we want to know a lot about yeah. this. So tell us what uh, is this? This might be something. What kind of game is this? What can you tell us, Adam? Well, firstly, can I just say it's really exciting to just be here, and we've been 
looking forward to coming out of stealth mode and really delighted to start the conversation today. Here in development. Now, I won't be able to reveal everything, but what I can say is that really we're not trying to make a normal game. I think the scope and ambition of this project is right. quite right. unlike anything else. We want to build a whole new world for gamers and not just Fair a place to play, but watch, share, create, hang out with your friends. I know it's sorry, that's what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I gotta say, uh, okay. the end of the trailer, I think we all were taken aback by, whoa, change, change art style, this seems totally different. What, is that part of everywhere? What can you tell us? Yeah, is that part of everywhere? Well, Jeff, that's one of the many surprises we've got in store for players. Oh, I mean, so we surprises. Were about making games and telling stories, but ultimately, we made everywhere to be a place where players can make their own experiences, be who they want to be, and tell their own stories. But we're still passionate about making immersive and cinematic experiences that players can just get lost in and enjoy. I guess you could say we want people to have their cake and eat it, and everywhere is a place that can happen. Mm, all right, well, okay. definitely a bold uh, vision for what you're doing here. Uh, the other question I'm sure we're all wondering is, we didn't see any date on the trailer, any sense of when we're going to get to play this thing? Where it's are you like at? It's like 2024, maybe well, 2023. Well, I'm delighted to say that we aim to have everywhere in the hands of players in 2023, but we've got many oh. more things to show and tell over the coming months. And we're really okay. excited for you to sign up on our website. Write that, down. That, that might be something. But really, today was just might a be sneak something. peek oh, no. behind the curtain to see what the team has been so hard to work on. Here. And we're really excited to get this in the hands of players as soon as possible. Amazing. Well, Adam, thank you for sharing the reveal here at Gamescom. Yeah, it's Adam. awesome to have so many European studios on stage. And tonight, we've got it a lot sound. of European studios that are going to reveal their games uh, for the first time. And right now, we're going to move yeah. to another world premiere announcement. i got to write this down. Yeah, i got to write this down. Double infinite, okay. Is that the plague? No, it's not plague. I must not fear. Every player would have three. Fear is the mind killer. Okay, I wrote it down. Okay. What's this post apocalyptic? Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. <clears throat> Hope we don't live there, cause that's gone. That's 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 definitely gone. If that's where you live, your place is gone. Destroyed by I will face my fear. That teeth? Mm, nope. I will permit it to pass over. And through me, and when it has gone past, not gonna jump down there, are you? The inner eye to see its path. Okay. But the fear is gone. What's that? There will be nothing. Um, how you gonna fight that with that? You can't fight that with that. You're, he's dead. That guy's dead. Whoever that person is is done. Only I will remain. Dude. Oh, dude, okay. Wait a minute. Is that a movie? No, it's not. Dune Awakening, okay. A Dune Open World Survival M MMO? Uh, I'm not really a fan of open world survival games, but... Oh, only for new gen and PC, okay. I oh, barely any clapping, barely. I I'll clap, I'll clap for that. Trust me, the fun is just beginning Wish tonight. I saw some gameplay, right. though. How many of you out there are fans of PlayStation? I am. I am. Yeah, I got me a PS4. I don't have a PS5 well, yet. We've got a fun surprise for you. Some. I said PlayStation. What can we do for all the fans coming together Wait, here said, at Gamescom? You said PlayStation won't be right here. Right now, I'm honored to share this global PlayStation announcement with you right here at Gamescom. I thought PlayStation was going to be here. Okay, well, that changed everything. Oculus? Okay. VR, Oculus VR 2. Thank <laughs> Thank you, Young Hummer. Thank you. Oh, that is controller. That is definitely a controller. Is this a new controller? I don't care. I don't have a PS5. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm looking at. This is this is not telling me anything. Oh no, the DualSense Edge wireless controller. Whoa, that's so crazy. Get that trash out of here. <laughs> there you go. 
the dual sense edge it's a high maybe that's maybe that's good i don't know customizable wireless playstation 5 controller okay, designed maybe. by playstation and you see there you can have your own what about, uh, what about control controller profiles, what about the drift uh, customized we'll fix that to your too? play style if you guys want to learn more about the brand new controller you can head to playstation blog and thanks to playstation for sharing that announcement with us here at gamescom all right next up the callisto protocol oh, okay you this is what i want to see game? Oh, that's September 2nd? Oh, okay. I'm kind of hyped. I'm kind of hyped for that game. Well, joining me now is Glenn Schofield from Striking Distance. I might have to play Death Space before uh, I play Glenn, that. we are so excited about this the, game the coming out in December. You came all the way over in the middle of development to Gamescom. December, we really appreciate crazy. it. That's crazy. I thought it was going to be like uh, How has the response been to Callisto so far? Man, Jeff, the uh, response has been fantastic uh, for a new IP. I couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, uh, so I want to thank the fans. Okay. And uh, I, I want to thank Glenn. my team for uh, just really killing it and... It's great to be back at Gamescom, man, you know. Well, you got some good stuff for the fans, and we're going to get yep. to that in a second. Um, you brought some gameplay. We saw some great stuff at Summer Game Fest. You brought more. Oh, yeah, now, what are we going to see today, Glenn? Yeah, you've got uh, some uh, live gameplay. Uh, we've got two sections. The first one is going to show some, uh, some crazy combat, and uh, the second one is uh, something new uh, from the game, a little different than what we've shown with something a new. Uh, okay. crazy ending. Crazy yes, ended. it is. Oh, you guys okay. are going to love this. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask you about was you're known, certainly, in the team for your work on Dead Space. In that game, we love the strategic dismemberment. I understand you're kind one, of one-upping things uh, for this no, game. Like three. Well, we got dismemberment, and we've shown the gore system. Yeah, um, definitely. And today, have. we're going to show a couple new things, uh, including one that we're showcasing called mutations. Mutations? So, uh, the enemies may sometimes have these tentacles that come out. Eh? And if you don't shoot them, take them out on time. Uh, this guy in real time is going to mutate in front of you into something bigger, badder, faster, meaner, and he's going to be taking you out. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. That sounds well, scary. This is one of my most anticipated <laughs> like it. games. It's coming out this December. Glenn, this December, thanks to you and the okay. team for putting this together. Let's take a look at brand new gameplay from the Callisto Protocol. Callisto Protocol. Okay, I lied. This is a game I'm actually hyped for a little bit. Uh, this is gonna be some blood and gore, so if you're not a fan of that, I'd suggest you block your screen right now. <laughs> but I am all for blood and gore. Patience, tentacles. It's always the tentacles. Stealth sight, a little stealth scene right here. Oh, I was like, what happened? Okay, yeah, that's the force gun, basically. Yeah. Little, little, little. Okay, I like I like my stealth stuff. I love stealth. I love stealth sections too. Let him go up. Let him go up. Use the tentacles. Okay, those are they do the tentacles. You didn't see that before. Okay, that he is resistant. Okay, weave. Use my some shield, alright, okay. I wonder how much you can like who you can pick up with that gun. We some headless, I don't care. You still getting the work. Oh, he does not care. How is he so accurate? Alright, so oh tentacles. Oh! He just ripped, he just ripped his, oh god. <laughs> yeah, kill that. This man said, hey, let, let me rip myself apart and grow a new body. <laughs> All right. No heads, but still heads, exactly. <laughs> I don't need to see, I can feel, and you gonna get this ass whooping. <laughs> All these my two hands. Oh. Okay, we got, we got a little set piece. Now it just feels like Laura Croft. You know the Laura Croft games where it's like, um, if you don't move out in time, you'll die. Like, it'd be like some death animations. I'm getting that vibe now. Which I like in Laura Croft. Laura? Where? I don't even say her name. Ooh, that hurt. Yes, they're starting this off just right. That was kind of close. You almost got decapitated. They're starting this off right. This game con so far. 
What I worry about is the middle portion. That might that might be lackluster. You never know. You got time to just right. Okay, now I look like he timed it just for- oh, oh my god. Jesus, my ribs! Nah, nah, he dead. He is definitely dead. I thought he timed it. I looked like he timed it just right. <laughs> definitely getting Laura Croft vibes. I will definitely be getting the standard edition, not the deluxe. Think money grows on trees? <laughs> Alright, that was pretty good, right? That was, that was. Final applause, that we was good. lots more covered for you, but right now I want to introduce my co-host for ONL, Melly, Melly, welcome to ONL. Melly. Thanks, Jeff. I was so hello, excited Melly. to be here. Hello, Melly. I don't know who you are, but hello, Gamescom. Melly. Hello, everybody. I'm your guide for tonight for all the happenings around <laughs> clap, Gamescom, clap, yep, yep, and I'm God really, really excited to be here. That's going to be heat right there. The that game's going to be heat. gaming is beating once again, and game devs December and publishers 2nd. from all around the world are making their way to Cologne to show you hundreds of new games. So if, you, if you're not here yet and still can come by, make sure to drop by, and if you can't, Make sure to make uh, to drop by next year because it is definitely worth uh, a visit. I'm stay here. And one of the I'm highlights stay in my we have this chair. year is we actually have the largest in the area ever bringing mm. visitors and devs closer together like our indie games like everywhere here. anywhere else in the world and uh, you can meet game the makers game, of the most original and fantastic right, and creative games here and if you're not here and if you can't make it here do not worry you can also check out the indie arena booth online at gamescom.global okay jeff I'm not going to do that, but all right, let's get to Thank you, Melly, and you'll be with us all night. We've got Gamescom awards to come and other things, too. But let's get right back to the world premieres. This yes, next world one premiere. is one you've been waiting for for a long time. It's probably Sonic see. or Hogwarts. Let's take a look at this brand new world premiere. Probably Sonic or Hogwarts, the way he said that. After an age of the cruelest... Yeah, it's not Sonic. ...man finally defeated its overlord. What is this? The gods... It's not, Do not fall. Not how we're, wait, forever. You've been waiting to see this? The champions of war united. X Force Studio. And began the eternal watch over their tyrant's colossal remains. Why does that look familiar? I'm not Some sure. forces. Even death cannot end. But now, I know this eons game. later. The fallen god's influence pervades the world again. Like, it's not Elder Ring. It doesn't so look like it at all. Enemies. Join his accursed lords of the fallen and damn humanity. Okay. To a new age of devastation. Though from these darkest days, new heroes arise. I'm trying to figure out what this is. To defy the gods, one must embrace the darkness. And so lies our only hope. I mean, they setting up this game nicely. But I have no idea what this game is. But apparently people have been looking forward to this game. From what Jeff said. Okay. Oh, you know that's copyrighted. I'm already here. Just down a bit. What is this game? It looks like a like it would be like Dark Souls or a Demon Souls, but it's not. I don't think this music kind of fits what's happening here, but hey, we'll take it. Lantern. Oh, you're dead. Okay. Deceased. It's just done. Just like that. One stab, you're done. What's a lantern? Arrive, I'm back. Okay. No, could have died on my watch. Oh, no. Nah, back up. These creepy things away from me. The Lords of the Fallen. I have never. R.I.P. <laughs> Lords of the Fallen. I don't. I never. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> That's right. They dropped the two. Uh, the the Lords of the Fallen. Uh, all right. Now it's time for another new game announcement. That was highly anticipated. All right. To a game that redefined the term 
Couch Co-op. Check this oh, out. Couch Co-op? Okay, hold on now. I got some friends that like party games. Are you struggling? Oh. Missing your regular FARTs? Have you tried Wait, going what is this? online? Visit this art style is very familiar. Move your dreams. Oh. Whoever you are. <laughs> I have friends who played this. I played. I played this game with my friends. Um, not this one, but something similar. Everybody's welcome. You're hired. Yeah, that moving. Yeah, I played a little bit of that. Open a door of new opportunities. Work alone. I mean, it's a like a or two. It's a, it's a cool game. You can do it. Move locally. It's like yeah, move furniture. Online. I mean, I, I, would, I wouldn't buy it personally. But yeah. Sorry. Nice one. Coming 2023. Yeah, yeah. I, I played the demo of the first one with some friends. I'm, I'm not going to buy this, but it is there for anybody who wants this. Oh, Pat, Pat. They made. They made something else. I don't think it was overcooked. That's no, somebody else. I'm gonna play. It does look nice. Yeah, it looks nice. Yes, it's time to oh, step into the Potterverse. A lot of you people are looking for forward to this Legacy? game. I watched one Harry Potter movie. Well, it is coming out in Not February all, of 2023, and tonight at oh, Gamescom, February? we've got oh. the brand new trailer for you to take a look at. I don't want to say much and spoil much. This is an incredible trailer. I hope you enjoy it. I mean, if they make this game look fun, I will get this game. Because you don't really see like a lot of the Harry Potter games that are about good. Salazar Slytherin and the Dark Arts, the best prepared will be. If either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster. Okay, this is, this is like in-game uh, cutscenes right here. Unforgivable curses are so named you know, for a reason. I don't know any of these characters besides the Harry Potter. I'm sorry. I couldn't tell you. I'm a fake the Dark Arts <laughs> seem harmless until it's too late. Hey, None yo, of us will be able to avoid was dark there. magic forever. What do we do now? It's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. I remember hearing this game like five years back or even longer. So let's I'm ready. ready. Crucio! Oh, no. Ignore that. You've made your choice. Wait, no, yeah, no, you can, I think you can create your character, right? I think. Magic. 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 Have to be smacking people with magic. <laughs> oh. Dang, dang. Oh my gosh. That was just disrespectful. What have the two of you done? Hey, yo, I don't know, man. They said Crucifo, and I said, all right, let me say it. Live the Unwritten, February 10th, 2023. Dark Arts Cosmetics. 70 hour early access. Ooh. You get to play it on February 7th? Oh, PS4 and PS5. Okay. Last Gen 2. Okay. Alright. I need to see more about that. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I'll clap off. I need to see more, though. That's right. It's time to step into the world of Borderlands now. Joining oh, me is the founder shoot. of Gearbox Entertainment Company, Randy Pitchford. Randy, I have not you here. finished for playing the, intro, the first uh, Tales Jeff, of Borderlands. I think a lot of these guys probably know me from my work at Gearbox creating Borderlands. Any Borderlands fans in the house? Yeah, but we don't talk about three, but well, yeah. I, got good news. I know uh, some of you hardcore folks saw the leak, uh, but I'm here to officially announce new tales from the Borderlands. Nope. Tell tales, us about this. We remember is, is tales this? from the Borderlands. This is new tales yeah, from the Borderlands. This is characters, that. new story. Yeah, it is. You know, I loved the original game, and so that's why we got some of the original storytellers and writers that were back in the day at Ooh. Telltale. Yeah, Telltale. And developed yeah. an all new storyline with uh, all Telltale. new characters. Uh, created uh, uh, with uh, production from Gearbox Studio Quebec. Uh, it's an all new experience, and uh, we're here to show it for the first time today. You guys want to check it out? Yes. Let's yes. get it coming soon, I too, do. right? That's right. Uh, coming in October of this year. October okay. this year, October all this platforms. Year? Okay. Awesome. Well, let's take a look, Randy. This is exciting. I love New Tales um, from the Borderlands. Like, first games like games Walking God. Dead or Until Dawn, where it's like decision based. You get to make the right choices or Most wrong choices. In the Borderlands I love it. Narrative games. Like that. I love it. They end bloody, too. Sometimes, all it takes to change the galaxy 
is a trio of losers trying to get through a bad day. Okay, I too can't hear about We are in the middle of a TDR invasion. Leave immediately! This area is now under TDR jurisdiction! They think there was Jack a vault key being kept on the died. station. If we can find whatever's in that vault before TDR does, we can change our lives! That's bad, bro. We're bad at this. Like, really bad! TDR Definitely the, the same Borderland art style that we guns. all know and love. Guns with legs! I'm gonna blast you so freaking fast! <laughs> guns with yeah. legs. Uh, if you don't know about the Borderlands series, they have some crazy guns. What was that? What was that? What did I just see right there? I always wanted to change the universe for the better. And now we are. <laughs> Bulls don't hurt me. Bulls don't hurt me. We'll be drowning in cash. Hell. <laughs> don't ever do that again. <laughs> Your business. Are you people like this? <laughs> you would tell us about Borderlands. Uh, We'll see. We'll see about that one. If you happen to see any corpses along the way, uh, don't worry about them. They're just, uh, yeah, don't worry about them. Okay. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. That might be something. Come back to the city and join the deadliest spectacle of this season. We just went Techland. Dynamite? Tell you yeah, Telltale made Dialine, I believe. Unless it's a different a company. That survived this looks like Dialine to Homo DLC, possibly. Homo Rhodesiensis. Homo Erectus. All of them wiped out by the deadliest species of all. Us. I am Astrid. This is the new arena. No, this is definitely the people who made Dialine. This looks just like Dialine. Stay alive. Dang, alright, just like that? We went from Borderlands to this out of nowhere. Drop it. Yeah, dying light. Definitely dying light. Is this DLC? Oh, you're dead. I never got to finish Dying Light 2 because my, my computer ain't strong enough for it. My biggest regret. You fight for survival. My but biggest regret. Today, you fight for glory. Anyone can be a warrior. What makes you different is the spirit of a champion. Let out the beast. Yeah, Let out the beast. I thought so. DLC looks like Dynamite too. Yes. Yeah. Let out the beast. Let out the beast. Wish my computer was strong enough to finish Dynamite too. Red Bull gives you wings. I'm not. I'm not playing your wings. I'm not playing that Red Bull. Get off my screen. Red Bull gives you wings. Get off my screen, Red Bull. So you want to join me? Ah, uh, see, I don't like Sea of Thieves. The Sea of Thieves? No, it's not. Not at all. Yeah, no, this is not Sea of Thieves. This is something else. A game that I would not play. Sign that's what it And be a part of my crew in Tortuga. Tortuga. Product not yet rated. He's going through these games, all right. Okay. Raid, loot, escape. The Rogers. Okay. Game 17. I see. This <laughs> is. I think they're dead. I think they're dead. When they see this glorious end, they uh, come for us. Don't know what this is. To savor the fruitless struggle. Ugly looking, kill that. It's who they are. That, that weapon goes far. Let them come and see. <laughs> like a co op shooter, maybe. Our shame. Invasion. 
Might be the thing. Just, oh, they got jetpacks? That's not good. Lasso? That lasso disintegrated him. That's crazy. That lasso dangerous. Because only in the end. Parkour elements, maybe? Are we free? Can't really tell from this um PG cutscene or whatever you want to call it. Cinematic cutscene. Oh, that's Destiny? Oh, that was Destiny 2. Don't be the Hello Destiny person. Hello again. This Saturday, Hello. the Gamescom Awards will be handed out to the winners of the best games on the show floor. Only submitted games showing at Gamescom will be eligible to be nominated. Those are protocols in a way. And the awards that's will my, be streamed on all Gamescom channels, so make sure to tune uh, in. My pick. That's but my tonight, hope. I'm allowed to hand out four awards. I'm very, very excited about Already? that. And I would say, let's jump straight into it, starting with the most wanted PC game. Here are your nominees. Okay, most wanted PC game. Metal Healthy. Oh, yeah, I saw a little bit of that. I couldn't play the demo, it didn't work on my computer. System Shock. Oh, that, might, that might win, actually. People love System Shock, apparently. It's got like a... Warhammer 40,000. Oh, people like Warhammer 40,000. People like that game, too. And the winner it's is... It's between System Shock and... Metal Health Singer! And here to accept the award is Sheila Vickstrom, executive producer at The Outsiders. The oh. stage is yours. All right, I was wrong. I was completely Thank wrong. Thank you so much. Whoa, all right. Wow, this is a lot of people. That's uh, crazy, I was actually. I my hey, speech a lot, but of course, you know, when it's um, as much the people as there is right now, no. you'll blank. Um, but I want to say that I am honored to receive this award on behalf of my team. The team behind Metal is an am amazing bunch of people that I'm so lucky to be working with. Okay every day Hi, metal. and the truth is making games is super hard when i started yeah. out i don't think i really realized how hard and what i learned is that focusing on compassion kindness and empathy just as much as any other craft in games Ooh, that's hard in these triple a games don't be doing game that development and it's precisely those qualities <laughs> where's that EA? my team possesses at EA. Where's EA i'm at? so privileged EA? to be working with them every Take day two. i love you guys at home i miss you any so much AAA so publisher? I'm what at i want to say to you my industry friends and colleagues is treat each other with heart kindness and respect every day. Make games with All humanity. That Thank you so much. It's out the dictionary. All of that is not part of the dictionary of those again. companies. They said compassion, heart, Jeff, respect. Back to you. You speaking of four languages? What are you talking about? Premier train keeps going. It's time to move to the world of Sonic. Any Sonic headshot oh, there fans it is. out there? Sonic Frontier. Sonic has had a pretty good year with the uh, Sonic 2 movie, which was a ton of fun I'm earlier not a Sonic this year. Fan. Well, Sonic Frontier. I know is some people that are Sonic fans. We've got a brand we'll new trailer we'll for you and confirmation of the release date too. Check this out. Now let's check it out. Sonic Frontiers, the game Sonic fans are looking forward to. Positive or negative? What is that? Already, I'm already confused. <laughs> a mysterious stranger. Submit. Your reckless actions endanger the world. <laughs> no, I'm gonna press this button. <laughs> no, I'm not think so. Oh, that's on my green screen. Oh, okay, look at that. Oh, it looks different. Is that Amy? Amy! Sonic got hands? Geez, Sonic, dang, you saw how like <laughs> Sonic got hands? Oh. You cannot run forever. Leave immediately. Who are you? Kick her. <laughs> Sonic's about to even play the hands. Oh gosh, how you beating that Sonic? A new frontier. Sonic Frontiers. Okay, that might be something. That might be something for the people out there. Ah, I hear some claps. Sega. 
It'd be great if I saw some Yakuza. But I'm not there you that. go. It is coming this year, Sonic Frontiers. All right, well, now another European studio wanted to use Gamescom ONL as a platform to announce another narrative experience. This comes from a French studio. Check this out. Narrative, okay. I like my narrative games. Yep, you know, it's already a narrative game from the music and the water moving. You already know. Haunted Dream, wait. What do they make? What do they make? so Open many things behind us. Objects. Memories. Mistakes. They sink in time. Touch the body. Yeah, they were the ones see. behind uh, Two Souls, it's Heavy Rain. Silence. Oh, uh, yes, okay, I was like, that sounds familiar. Okay. Gotta look that up. Okay. And here, voices can only come from the deep. Deep under the waves. Under the waves. Interesting. It's gonna be like a exploring the deep narrative game, water. Huh. 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 Guys. Huh. It's time for the goats. Ready for some goats? What do you mean goats? What no mean? live goats today, but we are here to talk about Goat Simulator 3. We got to announce this back at Summer Game Fest. And now it's time to see the gameplay of Goat Simulator 3 for the first time. I don't want to see no goddamn out. Goat Simulator 3. No, don't clap. Don't clap. I don't want to see that trash. I hate what you did, Jeff, but over here back then you tricked us. I thought it was going to be dying, dying, diet, death, then I don't know what to It's like a co-op, I don't really care. I don't, I don't care. I still, I still can't forget what you did, Jeff. I mean, yeah, it looks like chaotic fun. I still can't forget what you did to me back then, Jeff. Big. Oh dang. Yoga. Fuck your yoga. <laughs> a, A. Gotta go skating. Was this would this be my skate game? I, I, I like I want to like it. I, I really do want to like it. It looks like a lot of chaotic fun. That's a huge ass well. Okay. But I'm still not gonna clap. Nope. Not gonna clap. You won't get me. Nope. November 17th. That has literally about everything you could imagine in it. Uh, Goat Simulator 3. All right. A lot of people ask me how I got started in the industry, and what I loved doing when I was a kid with my brother, we would play PC adventure games, and I grew up playing classic LucasArts and Sierra adventure games. You guys remember Monkey Island, by chance? I never played it, I remember it, yeah. I am so excited because there is a new Monkey Island in development right now. Oh. Ron Gilbert, the series creator, is back. You may have heard about it. Return to Monkey Island, stopped. and tonight at Gamescom, I am so excited that we get to announce the release date, or actually, I don't, we get to go to Stan to tell us the release date. Check this out. Stan. I never played Monkey Island, but I knew it was it was like a, a cult following. Hello, I guess friends. you could say. It's your old pal Stan coming to you through <laughs> the magic of marketing to let you know that your search for quality entertainment is about to bear fruit. But I wouldn't be doing my job if I just dropped the details on you without a little build-up. Okay. I want you to see the kind of fine dining establishments you'll be visiting, like this one. Clever jokes. Lost. And if escapism is your cup of flavor, you can't do much better than this exotic and extremely <laughs> remote man. island. Stay <laughs> back! How did you find me? Return to Monkey Island launches September 19th, which happens to be... International Talk Like a Pirate Day. It but is. You don't have to wait. You can order it right now before it's even out. Something we in the marketing industry call a pre-order. 
As a bonus, Ooh. I'm ready to unload this shipment of beautiful horse armor to anyone who pre-orders Return to Monkey Island. Not the It'll horse look armor. fantastic in your inventory. Oi, you missed a spot. I've got to go now. I've got a lot of irons and a lot of fires. You know how it is. But I'll be back to steal every scene I'm in in Return to <laughs> Monkey <laughs> Island. I'll see you there. <laughs> I just play with my uh, will receive the exclusive horse armor in their inventory. Batman. Please note that Stick the horse armor games. has no practical use in game and in no way will contribute to the gameplay puzzles or narrative of Return to Monkey Island. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Sure I'm still streaming. A month away, and I love the horse armor. It does absolutely nothing. It just sits in your inventory. Yeah, just Return like. Yeah, I cannot wait for that. All right, Elder now Girls. let's turn to the world of unknown worlds, the creators of Subnautica. Yeah. As we've teased, they are here today no, at Gamescom to person. unveil a brand new IP, and it's a departure from Subnautica. It's a brand oh. new turn-based sci-fi game, turn and uh, we're going to reveal it for the say? first time right here. Actually, special guest is. Let's check this out. Hi, I'm Brandon Sanderson. You might know me as the author of the Mistborn series, the Stormlight Archive, or as the guy Dang, who finished Robert that. Jordan's Wheel of Time. Over the last Ooh, few years, I've been I working closely with my friends at Unknown Worlds on the exciting project we're revealing today. You, of course, know Unknown Worlds for creating immersive and fantastical worlds like the incredible Subnautica series. When they reached out to me, I was absolutely thrilled to help craft the expansive sci-fi universe in which their next game is set. This yeah. secret has been hungry, a actually. hard one to keep, and we're so excited to finally show you what we've created together. So, without further ado, this is Moonbreaker. Mm -hmm, Let us keep this civilized. Welcome to the party. With you till the end. This looks like. What do you call those types of toys? Those types of games. Tell you what, this is not for me. This game is not for me. This, this was like toy soldiers back then. They're all dead. Deceased. Bless them. Yeah. Game's not for me. Game's not my cup of tea. But I can see people playing this. Oh, you can decorate? It's like, um, Warhammer? I think Warhammer had like those, uh, but not those figures where you like you can paint them and make your own. I think it's Warhammer. It's some something game. I used to see people like designing their own figures, like coloring it at the uh, magic shop I used to go to, the Magic Gathering shop, like a comic place. I guess you could say back when I was a kid. Looks like that. Bonebreaker. Anyways, early access. <laughs> And joining me from Unknown Worlds is Charlie Cleveland. Charlie, Moonbreaker, it's real, and it's so different than Subnautica. So yes, tell us this Subnautica. departure. Uh, you guys like to kind of reinvent yourselves every game, right? Yeah, so people thought we were kind of crazy for making Subnautica after making Natural Selection. We went from a strategy shooter to a pacifist underwater game, survival. Uh, it worked, so I apparently. feel like we've done this uh, before. Not, not we, it worked. You know, we love changing genres. But I'm hoping, you know, our Subnautica fans will still come along for playing a digital miniatures game. I hope. Well, it's so cool. A digital miniatures game. Uh, everyone loves miniatures, but how do you translate that into gameplay? Like, what is the no, gameplay of this don't game? Don't lie, Jeff. So uh, we're kind of channeling like a Guardians of the Galaxy or Firefly kind of feel. So you can see that from the colorful art style we have. Um, so you choose a captain and 10 crew, and you build a roster, kind of like mm -hmm. a traditional miniatures game. And every unit in the game is oh, really there's nothing in here. like strange and special <laughs> and kind of game breaking. So um, yeah, you deploy units and you move them around on the battlefield and you get all these crazy game changing powers, kind of like Hearthstone meets XCOM, kinda. 
Well, it, I love, I mean, you see the gameplay okay. here, it looks great, and uh, it's coming soon, as we said, uh, into September, so you're not early access, you're not going to wait long. But the thing I want to get to is the painting, painting of miniatures, which we saw a tease of in the trailer. And I know you actually, painting was cathartic for you sort of during the, the pandemic, right? Yeah, so the painting, oh. I mean, you can't so have a miniatures game then. without painting. And during the lockdown, I just found myself, like, learning to draw and just, like, just zoning out and feeling re really relaxed when the world was basically falling apart around us. Mm. And we really I see the inspiration why he made his game now. It's not like Photoshop or like special technical tools or anything like that. You, we just simulate washes, dry brushing. We've got decals. Um, this feels like you're actually painting a real miniature. Oh, that's and I have say, to no. say because everyone is surprised. This is just a this like is a painting game underneath. Painted in the underneath game is a painting game, but we'll make tool. it like a so it's like a turn-based game. Powerful. Amazing. Well, it's so cool that uh, you're revealing it here, and it's gonna it's playable really at amazing. Gamescom, right? It is. It's here. You guys are the first ones to play it. Wow. And uh, oh yeah, it's more. <laughs> We're over in the Crafton booth. Okay. Crafton booth. And for everyone else around the world, they're not yes. going to wait long, right? Yes, we'll be on Steam Playtest in September. Yeah. We have a couple open weekends, and then we're going to be launching um, into Steam Early Access September 29th. So it's wow. really close. Only a month away, Moonbreaker Charlie. Only thank a you month so much away from my Moonbreaker out there. Out there. Yeah, I know you had a tough my time pleasure. there, but you Thank you, everyone. It. All right, Charlie Cleveland. Get your paint skills in order. Get your home base skills in order, because I won't be playing this, but. And now it's time to reveal another game with a very catchy tune in the trailer. Check catchy this out. Catchy tune in the trailer? What, is a, what does that mean? Let me tell you about the friends that invested all they had on a shady site that looked like a scam. It said, buy this magic card to play the coolest game and fight against your friends with no consequence. Yo, he got a gun. <laughs> This turn, it took a turn, this just took a huge turn. Using cars to fight, oh, I see it, I see it. They say, hey, we're playing with friends, I'm gonna kill you all. He's missing a leg. The moose is missing. Nah, trap card, run you bird. Dang, his head's gone. Oh my god, this is a uh, kill your friends. Fence. This is fence. Okay, this does not look like what I just saw. This looks much more brutal. Raw fury. Fence. This is fence. Inspired by the familiar story of okay, Pinocchio, okay. Lies of P is a new wait. Is that the game I saw? Souls like game. That, that is, is the game. I remember Lies of P in way Pinocchio back when, like a year or two years ago. Journey. Yeah, it was like a Souls like. Oh looks yeah, absolutely great. I remember that. That's Life of P. Trailer to show you. Oh. This game is also coming to Xbox Game Pass oh. on day one. Let's game Pass two. You know I got that in the baggy. Oh boy, I didn't know. All right, I'm gonna shut up. Shh. Can you hear me? Not really a Souls type of guy, kind of. I guess Dark Souls particularly in those figures. I, I like Neo and Neo too, and so some other Souls games, but Dark Souls itself and Bloodborne and all that it wasn't really for me. And there might be no going back, but you can change that. It depends on the choice you make. Truth. Oh gosh. Or lie. Don't lie, Pinocchio. Don't do it, Pinocchio. Your nose will, will his nose grow if he lies. Can I use my nose? Can I use my nose as a weapon if I lie a lot in this game? I might be asking too much of you. <laughs> but I don't have a choice. Is that Pinocchio's voice? Okay, strong with it. This ain't your Disney movie. Only you can do this. Please help me. Pinocchio. Who's that? Finally. Is that Hideo, Hideo Kojima? Son. Hideo Kojima. Son. 
dead. The stage is set. <laughs> Get back, the demon. Brightest in the darkest of times. All right, buddy, I'm here for you. Don't what? worry. Fucking bell. Fine. Here's some missile combat. Okay. Ooh, Harry. Okay, hold on. We got something here. Don't Hammer. Give up. Lightning. Ooh, okay. I see, I see the different parry. I see the different weapons. Smack, smack, throw them away. You can lean on me if you want. Oh, these are very unique. Is that a grappling hook? Okay, he, this that this that this game right here. This this mm, fire. Fulfill. Lies of lies of Pete. Not lies. Lies of Pete. Your I destiny. need to know when this comes out. I twenty twenty three. Dang. Oh PS five, PS four, Game Pass. Oh, you know I'm getting on Game Pass. If I if I, I can run it. Why am I here more clapping? Do you not see that heat? Hey, you. Who are you? Get off my screen. Yes, you. Do you have bomb? Bomb? What is Fear of missing Gamescom. No, not at all. I never had that once. Relax. Games no phobia of everywhere games. You want. Games come now. Register now. What? Register for what? That's no. right. All the fun of Gamescom is available from wherever you are online, obviously. And well, in case you're wondering who that little guy is, nope. that's Epi, and he's on a mission to save the Gamescomverse from the evil future. And if you want to help him, check out over. the Epic section at Gamescom.global. You can solve quests and win prizes. So what prizes? Part and what can I win? Epi to save the Gamescomverse. What, but what first, prizes can I win? I want to tell you more about uh, some of the great program we have for this week. And it's quite a schedule, so please bear with me. There is, for example, the Gamescom Studio by I IGN featuring game spotlights, dev interviews, and all insights into this year's Gamescom. So that please make sure to check to. that out I'm not so you watch don't stream miss now, anything. But... And also, the awesome indie showcase is back, featuring the newest, most original, crazy indie games here on Friday afternoon at 5.30 p.m. CEST, and I'm really looking forward to it. And something I'm She's really not. looking forward, looking forward to, 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 to is, uh, is is the is the cosplay contest on Sunday, where the super creative to cosplay community takes center stage, and this is absolutely one of my favorites. So make sure to not miss it out. It I'm going to miss out. Worth the watch. I'm going to definitely and miss out. And for more updates, follow at Gamescom on all platforms. And well. Now it is almost time to introduce our next guest, but sadly she couldn't make it since she is a tad far away. So let's see. She sent us a video, and I would say let's have a look. Okay. Hello, Gamescom. I'm ESA astronaut Samantha Christoforetti. Okay. Space. Currently flying at around 27,000 kilometers an hour, 400 kilometers above your head, on board of the International Space Station. Today, Why? I come to you to say bravo to the games industry. We see how many space games you've been creating recently. Okay, all right, where's this going? Space games, all right. Players on aren't just great fun. They create curiosity, interest, and the love of space exploration in gamers around the world. As we look towards returning to the moon and on to Mars with our ambitious Terra Nova program, humanity's space flight capabilities will be in part thanks to the games industry. Interesting. And who knows? I know if that's true Perhaps or not. Even you will be among us here at ESA for the journey. Hell no. I'm staying my ass right on Earth. isn't just great fun. It's having real world impacts that lead us all closer to the stars. So on behalf of everyone at ESA, bravo. Keep creating, keep innovating, and keep playing. This is ESA astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti wishing that's, everyone that's a, a that. wonderful Gamescom from the International Space Station. All right, thank you. Flip, do a flip. Okay, you can, you can, you can cut now. Why are we still looking at this? Yeah. Thank you for that. I guess. Not really a space person either, but thank you for that. All right, we're back in world premiere. Let's go. Here for, wait. Best teams. All right, got, 
Got my homie, my black guy here. What's happening? Brave a new world. I got my spear. Where the heck are we? We're back in time. We must start from scratch. Stranded alien dog. I don't like survival games, so that's not gonna be for me. Alpha in game footage. Oh, see, what you just showed me did not look like this. I thought they were fighting. That looks too peaceful for me. That looks too peaceful. That looks a little bit too peaceful for me. When we were looking at games for Gamescom Opening Night Live, uh, one of the things I was most impressed with this year is there are a lot of European studios that wanted to debut games here, yeah. and also a lot of brand new IP, brand new worlds. I like and brand we're going to introduce IPs. one of those to you right now, and I think you're going to get pretty excited about it. Check Am out I, Jeff? Program. You lied to me last time, Jeff. Will I get excited about this? Will I? Ooh, my tummy. The sand has memories. Memories of our past. When gods walked this world. And our heroes stood. I tell you what, them. I'm definitely going to sleep after this. I, my eyes are, pain, are, are But crying. the gods' vanity grew. And in their struggle, we were cast away. Only remnants of these stories remain in the sand, in the ruins of this shattered, broken. This is what I fear. Midway, it feels like it's lackluster for me, especially. I'm not a fan of space games. I don't really care for the uh, the co-op one back there. Um, this one, I need to see like actual gameplay, because the gameplay might be different from what this is showing me, like how it looks. It is, it definitely is cool, but I don't know what this is about. I need to see this doesn't tell me I need to see gameplay. I'm not I'm not impressed right now. The long sword, that's like a sword whip. Even in ruins we endure. We won't let go. For now, we can stand for ourselves. And cut Gods. to the title. Atlas Fallen. Thank you, Gameplay. Alright, here we go. This looks like... I like how they're moving. What MMO is this? Okay, that look, that look interesting now. Now I look a little bit interesting. Now I'm intrigued a little bit more. Thank you. Atlas Fallen coming in 2023. What is it though? Now, a classic strategy game that Hi. I remember playing in the late 90s is Homeworld. Did anyone else play that back in the day? Nah. Great PC space nice RTS. Stuff, well, a brand new Homeworld is coming out next year, oh, uh, and is. we've got a brand new look at some new gameplay from Homeworld. Check it out. I'm getting tired. Please start it with a gameplay. This gameplay? Please don't be a cinematic cutscene. It was a simple perimeter scan. 
Oh, no. resources. Never mind. I don't, this is not But me. we were ambushed by Kalan Raiders. Oh, this, this is a game cutscene. But the missile frigates were a different story. The command got clever. One wing used cover to keep themselves safe on approach. found a tunnel in the structure to sneak behind them. This, this is it's like cool concept. I would never play this. The same for me. It worked. But just before a carrier battle group arrived. We scrambled bombers. Perfect for attacking capital ships. Bombers effective against capital ships. That's what it says protected right the resources while they hauled in the goods. Which meant we could roll out assault frigates. Cleared hot. Let's take it to them. Stay on them. Break contact. The Raiders weren't pushovers, but command countered their hit and run tactics. The way their carrier exploded? Beautiful. And we even grabbed a little souvenir. That missile frigate is ours now. Sorry, I was on that for a second. This ain't the same. It's not me. Homeworld 3. Did not know, know there was a 2, but. Yay, Homeworld 3, I'm getting tired. Homeworld 3 in the first half of 2023. Now today is a big day, speaking of threes, because it's the version 3.0 update to Genshin Impact. Uh, oh which is an my incredible god, action I don't RPG care about Genshin Impact. Well, today we've got an exclusive new look at version 3.0 and the new Rainforest Nation, as well as a sneak peek of a mysterious ancient civilization and settlement that is found it's like deep inside the desert. Let's take a look at this world premiere. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, God. <laughs> I get it. There's a lot of people that play this game. I'm not that guy. I don't need to see this. I don't want to see this. I had my time against Shane Impact when it first came out on the consoles. I'm like, this is cool, but I didn't want to keep playing it. I, I do like how they keep, you know, updating the game with like new areas and characters, but I just not a fan of it anymore. I'm, I'm over it. Why is there a child here? That's the main character. I'm just clapping. Oh, it's not over yet? Oh. Please tell me it's over. It's a different game. Or not. Yes, it looks cool. Yes, very nice. Very nice. I should have went to sleep if I recorded this. I should have went to sleep. I forgot. We are here. What an absolutely beautiful game. And that's not like all for Poyoverse, because they also have Honkai Star Rail in development. It's a grand interstellar adventure, strategic turn-based combat. I and think. now we're going to take a new look at the story and adventure that awaits you in Honkai Star Rail. I'm, a, I'm up for my anime games, but not these types of games. It's not... But, yeah. When will we get an RPG anime game? Where's my broken bond, Naruto? What's a good oh? What's what is where's a good One Piece RPG game? Bleach? Any other anime? Stop, sir. Darkness. <laughs> of five people, three must pay a price. You are not one of them, Jin Yuan. <laughs> Yeah, 
Hey, calm down. The Sancho is in danger. This man, he... He's playing chess with me. He was playing chess with me and I was asleep. That told me absolutely nothing about a game I didn't... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Hello. Again, We're here with you it again. Is now time for uh, our next Gamescom award. Okay, that's and the award. That's fine. If it's the award, that's fine. For the most wanted Microsoft Xbox game. Okay, what do we got? What are the nominees? The Dark Picture. That's not winning. That's not winning. That's not winning. I'm already telling you right now. The Last Case of Benedict. Okay, maybe we might win. I didn't know this was another one. Metal Helsing. Oh, Metal Helsing is winning. It won last time. One PC is winning this one. Why, why are those the only options? Here is the last case of Benedict Fox. Why are all my predictions wrong? And here to accept the award is Bartek Leszczykowski, hey, good, good for you, though. creative director at Plot Twist. Why are those only the games that are like, on Thank the you. list? <laughs> it's uh, quite of a shocker for us. Uh, we just love uh, good Metroidvania games, and uh, we are working hard on uh, making Benedict Fox, Benedict Fox just that. And I mean, it did look like nice when I first saw it. I think it's Summerfest, or it was support, another and, uh, uh, event. Broke team for being the best publisher ever, and especially I would like to thank my team uh, in Krakow. They are crazy talented, and uh, my hands hold the award, but uh, their hands make the game. Dziękuję wam bardzo. Thank you. Congratulations once again, the last case of Benedict Fox. There you go, there you and go. Jeff, back to you. Jeff, thank you. Thank you very much, Melly. Uh, yes. Anyone here a fan of Justin Roiland? Who? Rick and Morty. Oh. Well, he's got a brand new game, which you may have seen at yeah, Xbox's show in June, called High on Life. It Those is coming to Xbox and Game Pass in December. And game Pass? they wanted to send us just a great oh. gameplay clip. Uh, oh, thank God. You're going to enjoy this. Uh, talking guns in a boss fight. And that's all I'm going to say to set this up. I think you're going to really... This is a trip. Check My left eye from here. wants to go to sleep, but I must beat it into submission. Or, I guess, out of submission. Because we don't tap out here. Here we go. Fine. Well, we're actually hitting her. That's definitely Morty. Multiverses. He's out. <laughs> no. Are you even a real bounty hunter? Jesus, it's so gross you even went in there. <laughs> oh, that sludge tastes like shit. Yeah, so stop diving into it. <laughs> Yeah, get up there. 
He's definitely gonna go for you. But you're gonna fight fast. That was a little way to transition, but alright. That... Did my game... What, what just happened there? That was weird. That was a weird transition, but alright. Do you see that? Oh, is that the Facebook VR Quest what? 2 that's gonna be Wait. really expensive in the coming months? Mm -hmm. Because they said, F you, mm. give me more money. What is it? Wait, what are you... Don't eat that. Come on, dude. Dude! You know she's gonna eat it. What? Yep. No! No! Told ya. Gross. That was a horrible ad! Dark time. Wait, is this the end? Oh, I didn't see that. Maybe we're just going through all the uh, the games that were shown in the summer fest or something. But I hated that. That were out. Hated it. GTFO, you know, that's a really hard game. No matter how single that won the most anticipated PC game for some time somehow. V Rising. My friend wasn't a fan of that game, V Rising. PUBG Mobile. Why are you just showing this to us? Like, why is it so random? Double to the internet. Double internet. The hell did that tell me about? You've been selected from among thousands of candidates. Hey, Cutter. To join the Lynx family. You're from Earth, right? This is more than just a job. It's an opportunity. You ever miss it? Caution. Oh shit, oh shit. Lynx. Making the world oh, a better dead. place. Get home and crack you dead. Open zero salvage sim? Not for me. I mean, this, this looks nice, but I wouldn't play this. It's true. I find this works them out there. There's something real special here. You don't have power here. You never will. Look around you. We're expendable. I can, I can hear them in the walls. They ain't a tray lagging. Dancing between the ribs of a ship. Gaze out at My the rest of the human race. <laughs> buzzing in the distance. That's when the sky fills up with flames. They just be the most important. Okay, there it goes. That's the way things go. Our space ship worker. September 20th for you sim people out there. Oh, Game Pass. Just for me? Mm -hmm. The best thing is, I like Game Pass. Dance when you feel invincible. That's. I'm getting that. I was going to play it today, but I'm kind of tired, so probably tomorrow. Great. Oh, great. Great series. Okay. Parking. Cool the interest. Hi, yo. Ty McSus, how you doing? I probably butchered that, but how you doing? Um, that like you? Okay. Disney Dreamlight, right? Okay. Hey, we just we just looking at this um this game's calm, you know. It, it's all right. It's all right for now. I got bored towards the middle portion. From Poland? Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. I welcome everybody here. From, that's fine. That's fine. I'm in the United States, Georgia, to be specific. Um, oh, that's on the game pass? Okay. But how you doing? How you doing, my guy? Uh, type with us. I, again, I probably butchered it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Any games that caught your attention if you saw the uh, Gamescom event?
Come on, Jeff. First announced back at the Game Awards, Telltale's next project is based on the Prime Video series, The Expanse. Well, we showed Telltale. you a little bit of the trailer at the Game Awards to set up the world. Now you're going to get a first glimpse at the gameplay with this behind-the-scenes clip. Enjoy. I thought Telltale's was done as a studio. What happened? Was I wrong? No. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely Telltale. Hold still. We'll see what we can do. Captain Drummer! What are your orders? The Expanse. The Expanse is obviously one of those universes that has a ton of opportunity to tell great stories. One of the things I'm super excited about is the zero-G stuff that we've been doing. A big part of when we're making the game, not only are we thinking about the characters, we also have to think about how can we evolve the genre in any way that will make players excited to be hey, part of this universe and feel like they're engaging in something rather than just being a passive audience member. You'll figure something out. And I know you will. It's actually been a really interesting thing as an actor to explore some of her mm, more actor, vulnerable right. sides that so by the time the main the series, story? All right. they've been cauterized. <laughs> Score I did like, I remember liking the Telltale series, I mean. You'll need me if you want any chance of unloading it. The craziness of an uh, exploded ship that now constitutes several parts in a mass, and you can move them on. And balancing that out against almost like you're excavating a story, that's a personal story. Those are people. Mm. Those are characters, and you are now okay. among the ghosts. All right. Whatever they were doing right before they died, being a scavenger, pretty dark job. We're really that excited was a about basic how stream. it feels to both play and experience the story in the game. Well, those are heads. Those are heads there. Alien. Watch out for the aliens. Okay. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Speaking of adapting things from one medium to another, here's a film adaptation that uh, into a game, which I don't think you would have ever expected. Check this out. Film adaptation to a, film adaptation to a game. What is this? First, 1988. Four. Slasher? Is that Jason? That's also like a Jason poster, so it's not Jason. Or Friday the 13th, it's not bad. So this was a movie turned into a game, I think you said. What is this? Oh, wait, from the executive director of the Friday the 13th. Are we going to get a horror story game for once? You opened it? You're dead. Killer Clowns from Outer Space to Game. Oh, multiplayer horror. Never mind, it's not a story. I just wish we had like a, a story, a narrative like horror game movie franchise, like you know, a Pennywise story, Pennywise game, or Friday the 13th, Michael Myers. That was Ghost like a narrative format, not multiplayer. All at opening night live. Uh, now we've got another brand new game announced from oh, the no. European publisher for a sci-fi action adventure. Here we go. Sci-fi action adventure, okay. Not a fan of like space games, but we'll see what we're working with here. We always wondered if we're alone in the universe. <laughs> we observed and explored, but found nothing. Until That's like a movie. It has been six months since the alien object known as the Metahedron suddenly appeared above Earth's atmosphere. I feel my boy, uh, my, my person, Timey. Timey? Timey. Sentient contact assessment. And uh, I'm just trying my best to get to this uh, event. Kate? We have an issue. It was really, it was starting off really strong in the beginning. What happened? Power supply failing. 
There are sensors offline. I'm switching to backup generators. Okay, I'm definitely taking a nap. And then I'm gonna wake back up and start streaming again. Cause I need to sleep. My stomach's starting to hurt. I don't know what's going on. Now we're going to talk about Gamescom Goes Green, which is an initiative that Goes has made green. Gamescom okay. the first climate-friendly gaming event in the world. The core event and this show, Opening Night Live, I'm happy to say are 100% climate neutral for the first time, and that's something we all should be very proud of. Yes, I don't know what that means, but yes, you protect the environment. That too. Now, as part of this initiative, Gamescom, along with the United Nations Environmental Pro Program Initiative, Playing for the Planet, are going to give That's a, a first ever Gamescom Goes Green award to the best sustainability concept from an exhibitor here at Gamescom. And the nominees are Microsoft, Xbox, Yuki, and the Indie Arena booth. And to find out the winner, let's turn it over to Melly. Thank yeah, you. What does that Thank mean? Thank you, Jeff. And what? yes, the winner of this year's Gamescom Goes Green award is Yuki. And here to accept the award is Dr. Joe Twist, CEO of Yuki. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gamescom, for this wonderful award. It's brilliant to be recognized. Thank no, you to no, the Yuki no, team who worked so hard every day to be greener. Uh, and thank you to the UN's Playing for the Planet Alliance I mean, for inspiring us to that's change. That's nice, that's nice. You know, it's so fantastic to see these amazing game worlds that we're going to play in over the next year. But you know, we only have one planet to live on that and you we know only of. have one lifetime to make a change and to protect that planet so That's, that we can that continue you know to play <laughs> our games so everybody whether you're a player or a business can make one small change starting tomorrow and together we can play more games together and save the planet thank you very much Thank you, Joe, what's, what's and change? congratulations once again to you, Keith. What do I do tomorrow? And remember, it is not only the organizers or exhibitors that can go green. All of you can also make a change by donating to the Gamescom Forest. So plant your Gamescom tree today. Jeff, back to you. Awesome. Thank you very much, Melly. Congratulations to Yuki. Uh, now it's time to announce a brand new game from a new studio of industry veterans working on an ambitious new RPG. Here's the first tease. Oh, three, four, three, Vegas. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Wait a minute. These are, these are big games right here. Something wicked games. Those are big games he just threw out there. Of reality. There exists two lies. One before the shadow. And one behind the eye. Wait. Why is this look familiar? No, I'm, I'm, I'm bugging. Take off my glasses so you can see my eyes. Wire song? Wire... what? I can't read that. I can't pronounce that. I need to see more. You can't just say that, Jeff. These are some people who made these games. No, you gotta... these are... those are big games. Lots of news here at Gamescom. All right, let's talk about Xbox and Age of Empires 4 that continues to expand. Now we I have news on the next civilizations care. joining the battle as free DLC. If you want to learn more about what's happening in Age of Empires 4, tune into the I Xbox don't. booth stream for developer interviews on Thursday. But I right now, care. here's that announcement from Age of Empires 4. I think Angry Joe would care, but I don't care. It's a, it's like a turn-based, I don't know what to call it. That, it's that, that's what that is. To win a battle. And every empire must find their own path. I'm hungry. I'm curious what the, the chat on YouTube is saying. Whether you How they feeling about this event? Or ambush up close, the Malians will use wit and strategy to outmaneuver their opponents and gain the advantage. Give us your eight. I feel that. I feel that. Oh, 
With powerful siege tools and the ability to rally large formations, the Ottomans can keep the pressure on to bring down their enemy's defenses. They're just talking right now. Yeah, these games never, I was never a fan of these games either. When the drums of war I'm not a fan of top down view games unless they're like really victorious. good. Um, I guess you say this is a strategy game. I'm not a fan of strategy games like History that. Is in the or these types of strategy games to be in fact. And your place um, in it has I, I like begun. first person view, third person view, shooters, some RPGs, action, hack and slash, beat em up sometimes. This, this ain't it for me. But you know you got some fans over there clapping Age of Empire. I see it. Time oh, to here head we go. To Gotham. You guys excited for Gotham Knights? We gotta see some stuff about Gotham Knights. Well, you don't have to wait long. It is coming this October, and Batgirl, Nightwing, Robin, and Red Hood are gonna take over in Gotham Knights. You're probably wondering about the story. Who are the villains? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, what are the villains? To share in this brand new trailer, and also some exciting news. The release date is gonna be a little earlier than you expected. Check this out. It's gonna be tomorrow. Who are the villains? We never, we saw them beat up some random grunts. Jim Gordon never gave up on anything. Did Batman die in this, in this game? I can't tell. I That's why Gotham City is still here. It's why I'm still here. And I've known for a while now that Not someday, really? like him, I'd have to work with you. I've seen plenty of criminals in my career, but nothing could have prepared me for this Harley well well if it isn't brat girl Gotham Harley better not be the main villain of this that's a, that'll be that'll be weird there's blood in the water but the owl the court of owls and the sharks are circling that shot play face I think they're all making their moves. Uh, nice. What was that person's name? Throw, throws, no, oh, ice, something. Aren't going to give up. Whatever those are. A storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it. <laughs> See you at the premiere. Who's the main villain? I need your help. Your skills. Your knowledge. What do you stop? Your adaptability. Oh, oh, that's the uh the court of owls. They had like you got my I, I know that is. I know that is. This biopic is based on a true story. My story. Soon, the world will feel the cold as I do. I got one last little surprise for you. Was Joker Dad in this, in this series? Come to watch the show, Red Hood. Nah, I'm just here to kick your ass. Kill. Kill your ass. Weapon to the night. Okay, shine some some spotlight on the lesser known villains, Clayface. I don't know the lesser known Clayface. Pretty um, good trailer, right? October twenty first now. The yeah, Outcourt of Owls. All right, now it's time to announce a brand new game from a new studio. The uh, global announcement of uh, the I ambitious new more. adventure game developed by Everstone Games. It's called Where Winds Meet. It's an interactive open world RPG featuring action, adventure, and martial arts set in a turbulent time in the Northern Song. Watch your arts. Hold the on. Combat looks really cool. Check out this announcement of where winds meet. Where's where winds meet? I'm trying to see some hands. No, 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 don't show me this. Show me gameplay right here, right now. Straight to the gameplay. No cutscenes, gameplay. I want to see some hands and feet going by. And they're singing. I just, I mean, I think I know why games do this. It's like, why they make a uh, cinematic. The trailers instead of like showing gameplay because maybe we don't have enough gameplay for it but it's like come on i want to see gameplay what you're doing here tells me nothing i say at least start with gameplay if you're gonna do this i say at least start with gameplay just a little bit of gameplay and then go into the cinematic 
Oh no, give me. I like you know know what the game is about a little bit. What I don't expect. This I have no idea what this is gonna look like. You died? Oh no, you got poisoned. Maybe you should show the gameplay. You wouldn't got poisoned, girl. Hey, your house on fire. Hey, your roses on fire. Now you on fire. Okay, here we go. Climbing. There gonna be a stamina system for this climb. Do you want to know water? Oh, why are you climbing the building if you just run up the building? This man did like four different jumps. This man did four different jumps in the air. Oh, woman, I can't tell. This looks like an indie game. I don't know. It looks. It looks. It, it looks weird, like the frame rate or something. Or maybe it's just, I don't know. It looks weird. I, I can't. Like it looks stiff. It looks like the animations aren't done. It's weird. What are you saying to me? Freaking yelling in my ear. Falling swords. The game got weird. Where wins? I don't. What? What the hell just happened? Like, what? What actually happened? I don't know what happened. Do I clap at that? Oh, it's not over yet. A lot of dead bodies. Black kitty cat. I gotta see what chat's saying. Like, what? Maybe they. Maybe if I look at chat, they'll tell me what happened. My favorite part: none of these. Where wins meet again. So much new IP tonight. It's really cool. All right. Back when we started O&L in 2019, a very special guest joined me here in person uh, to close the show. And this year, when I close told him show. That we were going to be back here live in person, he said, "Well, I got to take part in some way. Uh, so please uh, say hello to my good friend Hideo Kojima, Mr. Kojima." Hideo Kojima is here. You see the closer? Game is going on, Mirasa. Conchua Kojima Hideo des. Boko, I know this name. They were an hour and twenty minutes in, I'm not sure. Game of Shin Sakuni, Torikundo, Rimasuga. Konkaiwa, Betsuno News, no Oshiraseto, Narimas. Okay. Konotavi, Fugatskara, Boko Podcast of Bangas. I think you mentioned that. Nanto, Doxen Haisin Sukota. おお。それでですね、あの、英語版と日本語版をそれぞれ Hideo, buddy, you're a great guy, made a lot of popular franchises, game, do you have, now, please, please, no thank you, come your eyes back here, you got a game announcement, no, don't wave that hand, put that hand back down and keep talking about, the... there better be more, last year opening night live, we announced Park Beyond, Okay, I'm gonna say there better be more. You've been not anything like that. And this year, they've got an awesome uh, booth experience for those of you here. I thought person. I was in, and that's why I was angry at Hideo. We've got a brand new trailer. We're good, trailer we're good. We're good today. I like you. We're, we're, we're cool. Amusement park we're cool. simulation game. What? Huh? No. Bandai.
Here is a little something to inspire you. Be creative. I, they start off really strong, and all of a sudden, it's just. Yeah, like around 11, now in 30 minutes, yeah. Let me chat to see something. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> Red Dead 3? You're not. You're not. Ace combat tech and this is no Capcom's not gonna be job, here. Guys, this has a lot of potential. Hmm. <laughs> Couldn't we go a step beyond? I don't think people are messing yeah. with this game. I mean, like if this was the game that I didn't part of the show, I might be a little bit, you know, interested. Like, like, oh, look, this is nice. I'm not. I've, I've been bored for like an hour now. Um, that's, that's too much. I've been bored for like 30 minutes now. What about you? Will you go they need to change the placement of these games. They need to change the placement of these games. Have some hype games in the middle. Put some hype games in the middle, beginning and end. So, you know, get that interest back up. Cause I've not seen anything hype so far. In the so middle, much fun! In the I love the diversity of games. Nothing a little game pass here. action. Amusement park scene. I love theme park back in the day. Great to see that's coming out uh, from Limbic and Bandai Namco. All right, now it's time to share another special announcement here at Gamescom. Not a game, but a concept car. That's right. It's here at Gamescom, and I got to catch up. You with said all not the a game. It's a mini design. Uh, you, is this a? You said a car. All right, I'm over here at the mini booth with Oliver. This is the mini concept Aceman reveal. This looks so cool. You think I, Nintendo's gonna give you the rights? Not Nintendo. Pokemon's gonna give you the rights trip. to make a car? Hey, what? Not a car? It is a car. Who is buying this? Who's gonna buy that? Wait, like you can show what? What am I? What am I looking at? What? What the hell oh, am I looking at? So cool. I have so many no, it does not. Oliver, do not uh, lie to him. I want to ask you about this partnership. Uh, a car with games. Why is he here? Pokemon. How did this come Why is he out? here? Yeah, first of all, let's talk about Gamescom. You know, yeah. Gamescom no. is. No. Um, Fuck Gamescom. We've been talking about it for an hour and thirty minutes. Send on pop culture, and as we ourselves are a part of that pop culture. We don't want to miss out such a great... What does this car have to do with the show? Pokemon Company International, and we have a lot in common. We're both iconic brands. And Mini is more than a car. It's a character. You partner... I gotta, to explore the world. I gotta look at the chat on YouTube. What are you saying? What are you saying? Full of what saying? characters with special powers. Sure, guys, I'm not sure. So we share a love for distinctive design and strong values. Why I'm gonna ask you your favorite Pokemon in a minute, but first, no one cares. The hell is that? The gaming features we saw a little bit in the trailer. Tell us, break it down. Why does this appeal to gamers? So first of all, it's all about. They the always do this. Gaming they keep showing it's stuff that's not game related. That's why I like the Acro Pokemon mode. Acro that's why I like the Xbox game uh, showcase. I think a couple months back, it was basically straight games from start to end. Basically straight games, no fucking car or streaming service. I don't care. Fully electric, I just do like not care. Uh, is an electric type, so they're a perfect match. Uh, is there an overall? I hope the audience are yelling right now. So indeed, there it is. Um, we asked Stop ourselves asking question. about this car. What is if a car could connect it with your gaming console. Just Who like would want to have a car connect with your smart. gaming console? So we are promoting. Nigga, you gotta drive. I don't want to be playing like games while driving. The fuck. So our Gamescom claim is. Play on. Never stop playing. Well, speaking of never stop playing, will we see you next year at Gamescom? Stop well? talking! Yeah, we plan to stop stay in the game and talking. play on for sure. Like we always have from the get-go. So, stay tuned. Awesome. All right, Oliver, thank you so much. And we've got much more O&L still to come. I want the people in the audience to be yelling at these people. You came to the wrong showcase to be talking about your fucked up car. I don't give a fuck about your car. You wasted time about your damn car. 
I am angry. It happens. It's always it's a Jeff curse. It's the fucking Jeff curse. He keeps wasting my goddamn time with these random people. And whatever this is, I'm already angry right now. It's probably dark. Or I don't. God damn it. A convict free to serve. What what's that? What is this? I'm sorry. What is this? It is your duty to fight, and if necessary, die for the emperor. This is Warhammer. Four player co-op. That's that's nice. No help. No reinforcements. You are Tasha. They believe showed a goddamn car in a, in, a, in, a, in a game show. The car has nothing to do with games. Wait, you, you can play games with the car? Who, who the fuck is gonna do that? Who's gonna go outside and in the garage and like, you know what, honey? Let's let's hook the car to the goddamn go the game to the goddamn car. Who's gonna do that? If you do that, you're you're stupid. You got you, you do something better with your time. What am I looking at? I'm sorry. I'm getting off track. I'm getting off topic. I'm really angry right now. That I'm awake now. That pissed me the hell off. What is this? I'm sorry, game. I'm sorry, Warhammer Dark Tide. I was yelling over you the entire time because I just had a witness earlier before you showed up. Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters, Zora and Yaga. You got it all wrong. This makes me want to just attack every single thing I see now. That, I'm still thinking about that car. No Stop it! You can't hide from Baba, princess. How much longer you want okay. to be? I'm here. Nobody. I just I'm need here. to find the red oak. What you really want to find is the hut. It's a mythical world like no other. Hey, play. What the hell is wrong with this forest? Uh, it's not my cup, is it? I wouldn't play this. It looks weird to me right now. It might be how the stream is today. It might be low quality because of the stream. You're shooting rocks with a bow? Yeah, it's crazy. The strong bow. You kill it again. <laughs> you become the good or the evil. The evil witch. What? The, get off of my screen! That was terrifying. You saw that thing? Anything bad happens, always head straight to the red oak. What if I don't know what a red oak is at? Black tail. Game about something. Black tail. I was gonna say a, a loss of games to C U M. That's calm. Calm. Oh, I, I still said it. Gives you wings. wings. Is that spoken? No, it's not at all. Completely wrong. I don't care anymore. Go ahead. Copyright this channel, like. Lock the music or something. I don't know. I, I don't care anymore. I really don't care. Phantom. Okay, they're just going straight to these games. They said, all right, we pissed them off with that damn car. Let's, let's show them some games. This is. Uh, no. I don't know. What is this? Uh, Smile Gate. Crossfire. What? Our biggest. Crossover. Content update. Is he? Babylon. There's a game that came out this year about Babylon. From Square Enix. That game didn't last long. Or was it last year? No, it was this year. I think. March? I think it was in March. March or June. Oh, okay, that looks interesting. Crossfire, it's Babylon. I think crossfires are free to play. And now it is time for a final award. But don't worry, there is more on Saturday. So I'm make worried. sure to not miss our award show on Saturday. Why didn't you but say it for Saturday? Here are the nominees for the most wanted Sony right. PlayStation game. Why is Sony here again? Okay, what's, what's on here? Most Sony wanted PlayStation. Spider-Man 2. The Dark Pictures. Why, why is it still here? Lies of P. Okay, it's Lies of P. Lies of P's got this. One Piece. We didn't even show One Piece. It's, it's, Lies, of, it's Lies of P. 
If you say One Piece Odyssey, you know that game's gonna flop. It's Lies of P. And the winner Lies is of P. Come on. Lies of P. There we go, Lies of P. Here to accept the award is G1 Choi Project Director at Neil Lies of the P. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Um, first of all, I'm very proud of my team members, and uh, we always do our best to live up to the our team's think, name. The I think the game and finally, do you know BTS? <laughs> like BTS in Korean pop, and uh, we'll be the enough in the Korean gaming industry. Sorry. Thank you. Come time up. Thank you. Yeah, I think to get up on that word, you gotta be there. Me. Like, you have to be Thank showcasing the game, so Kong. A bit. I don't know. That's it for me to, for tonight. Please, but I'm sorry, I believe. Goodbye, oh. I want to bring your attention to don't, a more serious matter. Oh, wait, huh? The past serious? five months of war have been devastating for the Ukrainian families. It has. And UNICEF and partners on the ground are supporting those in need. And of course, funds are needed. So please consider donating at UNICEF.org if it's possible. And um, yes, we have to take care of each other. Gamescom also supports the development of Antura, the language learning uh, game for Ukrainian children. Antura is based on an app w which was made for uh, Syrian war refugees to learn the local uh, language. And I mean, in times like this, it is more important than ever to take care of each other. And I hope you keep that in mind, not only for Gamescom this week, but way after. Thank you so much. That's it from me. And have a wonderful okay. Gamescom. That was positive Jeff, message at the back end. to you. Thank you, Mallory. Jeff, Great Jeff, I know she just said something positive. But I'm really cross with you, Jeff. Jeff, now, I'm really cross with you. things about Gamescom is we love to profile games made in Germany. And this next game was made by four students in Berlin. It was a big uh, success on Steam. And now it's oh. coming to a new platform. And we've got the announcement right now. What game was this? Four students. Quiz. Why you said Nintendo wouldn't be here? I mean, I guess games on Nintendo counts, not like a Nintendo IP on here. I guess that makes sense. I've never seen this game before. I don't want this game. I'm, no offense to the people who made this. I just this ain't for me either. That's nice how four people were. That's nice how four people were able to make were able to make this game. Or romantic. Cute, beautiful. Now we're gonna get dark. The Please. Outlast Trials. You guys excited for this? We finally game? The Outlast Trials did it. We showed what you is last year at Gamescom Open Night Live, and we haven't heard anything since really from the team. I haven't played a single Outlast game. So that's that's too to much for me. Well, tonight, and I need to be able to fight back. Premiere of the brand but here we go. Let's yes, see what this is about. On when you might get to play it. <laughs> here we go. Because Jeff, fucking Jeff, you've been pissing me off. <laughs> these these past 20 minutes, you've been pissing me off on what you've been doing. Oh yeah, that's Outlast right there. That's definitely Outlast. I can already see the people playing it on YouTube. Corey Kenshin, Dashy, PewDiePie, probably if he still makes it. Zach Septicai. Sat down? Okay. Stay. Oh my. What is that? Oh my god. Oh, this is torture, torture. Look at that pretty face. Oh yeah, no. The mines. Oh, you can fight here? Oh, wait a minute. I can fight back? Jesus. Get, oh, you gotta put your hand inside of a. Oh, God. There's a lot of stuff's happening. But if I can fight it back, I might get the game. The Outlaw series, all you have is like a camera, I think. God, that was close up. Okay. I'm, I'm awake now. Hmm. Yeah, that's good right there. That's good right there. That's delicious content right there. He wanted you. Are you lost love? Ah, oh, they tricked the people. Volunteer for close beta. 
Okay, now that's an Outlaws game I might try to get. Because you can fight back, I saw. You that's put a mind right. down, Some other weapons. We'll get to play something this year, the Outlast Trials. All right. Next Wait, up, we got a like tease that? of the first release from Embark Studios, which a lot of the veterans that worked on the Battlefield franchise in Stockholm, Sweden. They've got a shooter wrapped in a game show format where destruction is going to play a key role. What we've got here is a short tease Battlefield? What that some mean? actual gameplay in it. The full reveal is coming later in September. You can sign up uh, starting now. <laughs> Battlefield is playing for it too. Don't know what destruction this. means. Check out the finals. Finals. Shooter. Okay, and I, really, I haven't been really interested in shooters. There's a lot happening. That was a quick teaser. I don't even know what happened, but I saw stuff happen. Guess we have to play test to find out. All right. We got one more game for you tonight at Gamescom Hi, Night Live, and this is one we've all been waiting a long time for. What do you mean? Here we go. How long are you? Jeff, last time you did live to me, you put on some. <laughs> Who are you? Trigger Hill in the game. Holy oh, I was over. Why does this guy look kind of familiar? Need that, need that. Wait a long time for? What is it? I'm not, I'm not, his, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what game is this. Is it, wait. Zombies? No. Grosman, what's up? Is this? No, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it yet. I'm not gonna say. No. No, it's been so long. It's not. It's not. It's not that game. It's not that game that starts with a D. It's not that game that starts with a D. I don't, I don't believe you. No, I don't think it's called the end. I think it's called. Is it? Is it Dead Island? No. No, it's not Dead Island. I, I assume. Maybe it is called the end. But Jeff said we've been waiting a long time for this. Which made me think, is it Dead Island? But I don't like, nah. That's impossible. That game's a myth. That game doesn't exist. But how you been doing, Groundsman TTV? This is the last game of the event, apparently. Is it? It looks... No. That nice guy by Lost Lost? Okay, I like that. Dang, he got eviscerated. I do like my zombie games. I'll oh, just go back out. <laughs> he didn't give her melts or batteries. Katana? Got to do live? I right, gotcha. What do I play? Um, trying to think. What did you play last time? <gasps> oh shit, it is that I too! Oh god, it is! Nah, I know. You know, you're lying to me. That's not real. That's not real. Nah. No way. Nah. It's no. True. You're lying. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. No, 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 no. Is it? Is it? No, 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 no. Come on. Get, this, get off my screen. Is it? That trailer we saw. Who is that character? There's no way. Thank you. There's no way. to be here. Uh, so you just met no. Jacob, and he is just one of our six no. characters. Our zombie six players have, have larger-than-life personalities and no. unique dialogue. I've been waiting so long. They have canceled it indefinitely. Tone, as you could tell. Oh, delayed. Uh, no. I see the tagline there. Uh, see you in hell, a. Eh? So it looks like we're heading no. to uh, to Los Angeles in this game. Well, uh, our pulpy tone is kind so of a love letter no. to. 
classic cult Hollywood horror B-movies, so where better to set it than in Los Angeles? Uh, sort of a modern paradise no. gone to hell. Oh yeah, it looks uh, looks cool. <laughs> it's obviously over the top. Uh, I know you're working on the narrative for it. Uh, this game has been, you know, long awaited for many, yes. many years. You guys have been working yes. on it for a few? Yeah, I'm sure some fans would agree with you. It has yeah. been long awaited, but like, uh, almost Deep 10 years. Master Studios started work on it about four years ago. Yeah. We were really lucky. We got to build it from the ground up. We got to focus on what we love about the franchise, okay. the over the topness. Yeah. And um, we think we've got a really great action RPG Please. out of that. Please so tell let's me you talk did. about the gameplay. We saw the CG piece, obviously, but what can we expect from the gameplay when you show it? So Dead Island 2's gameplay is all about experimenting with your so right preferred now. zombie slaying methods. Just kind of going nuts. It's a combat toy box. I'm so shocked. Uh, let me, let me read. Let me read. Quarters, I'm so shocked. That's, melee that's... brutality with a few guns for fun. Okay. Well, so, uh, sure yeah, yeah, yeah it's Kingdom Hearts 200. That was a huge gap. More, uh, see some gameplay of it. You want to see that some gameplay? That was a huge gap. I well, think we want to see some gameplay. You guys Wait. want to see the gameplay? You got gameplay? Can we do it now? You got gameplay? Okay, oh, she got gameplay. Here's your first they got gameplay. The gameplay of Dead Island 2. Thanks, Con. But I was never a Kingdom Hearts fan back then. But Dead Island, I was definitely a huge fan. But that gap was... Okay, we got gameplay. Let me stop talking. They gave us a reveal and gameplay? I heard it was leaked like last week, but I wasn't... I, I didn't believe it. Let me see this gameplay. Um, but yeah, what were you playing uh, last time you streamed? Groundsman TV. Oh my! He just ripped his hat off just like that, and he's smoking a Jimmy. <laughs> oh, oh goodness! Oh gosh! Oh goodness! Survival depends on the red gold pumping through my veins. Yeah, this is nice. Sounds like you're the star of the show now. This is nice. <laughs> sure. Oh, this is nice. Drop kicks, we'd love to see it. Oh, this is definitely this is different from the first game. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I'm here for this. I'm getting this. <laughs> Gosh, this is beyond insane. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. This makes me happy. This is a smile on my face. Because this game con event was going bad. Everyone's <laughs> get so savage when Zymers are about. Even none. <laughs> February 3rd, it comes out February 3rd. That's not that far away. And believe it or not, there is an uncut version of that trailer you can watch online if you want to see it. Uncut? Right, well, that's yeah, got to see the uncut. Coming in February, and that is going to wrap up okay. all the reveals for Game All right, that kind of makes up Live for the horrible stuff that happened in the middle that Jeff was doing. It's been a fun show, but before we go, I just want to say I hope everyone has a great game. That was nice. Uh, there's lots of live yes. streams for the next Down couple of days. Yes, for you guys to go and play. Yes, Vanga, ET Vanga, what's up? Yes. Floor. And as for me and the team, I am so happy. we're going to go back to Los Angeles and get ready for the Game uh, Awards 2022, which I'm excited to announce will be live that look, on that Thursday, me up. December the 8th. 2022 from the Microsoft Theater in Los me Angeles. Up. We've got lots of great stuff we're working on for that. But until then, hope you guys have a great Gamescom. Thanks so much for being a part of Opening Night Live. We'll see you soon. I still can't believe he showed me that stupid car thing with the Pokemon. That came out of nowhere. I hated that. But Dead on 2 somewhat makes up for that. That was great. I heard the rumors. I saw, there, I saw that, that there were leaks. I'm like, nah, that's not real. There's no way it would actually come out. And here we go. Delayed for like eight years, probably, I don't know. Ah, that was fun. That was nice. But yeah, Groundsman TTV, now that that's over, um, back to you. Uh, what games were you playing last stream? Ah, that, that was good. That was good right there. That, that was good. Oh, that was fun. Big, big, big fan of Dead Island. I might, I might have to replay it. So bad, boring.
Play something else. Um, I know you have um, the arc. You have seven days. I think you have. There's something you were playing earlier. I, I saw it popped up. I think yesterday or two days ago. I forgot what that game was. Oh man. Um. Do you like going for like a survival type mood, groundsman, like action game? We should like your genre you're trying to go for. Not gonna watch it. <laughs> Catch up, yeah. You probably gotta watch the replay banging. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, over the place. Okay, okay. Hmm. PT banging. I say you can watch the first portion of the showcase. The middle portion. I think Sonic was in the Frontiers, and I think Hogwarts. But afterwards, it got it got boring till the end. Um, but groundsman. Let's see. But you played Seven Days last time. I mean, you can probably play that too again, just like, I'm trying to think. What action games do you have? Groundsman TV, TV, or I guess story games. Yeah, Callisto Protocol, Dead Island, um, High Life, yeah, it's okay. Oh, streaming on Steam? Oh, say less. Go to my Steam real quick. Um, I think overall the sh the games con thing it was kind of lackluster, but I, I did like like I like Life of P or Pi, Lies of Pi, Lies of P. That's hard to say. Lies of P. I like that. Plus the protocol, Sunday Frontier looked okay, looked interesting. Hogwarts Legacy, I need to see more. I'm not sure about that. Um, Dead Island Two, that was that was fire. Anything else that popped up that I like? Oh, it's on my phone. Some game called Every Everywhere. That might be something. Oh, there it is. I see you. They only show a triple A game. I uh, see you, ET. See you banging. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, Jack Ball's game is coming soon. Maybe Thursday or Friday. But I think I found a way to get all the games on there. Um. A AAA games nowadays about indie developers. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. I think um, on Thursday they have the Microsoft, the Xbox game case. Heard that's the Xbox? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I think um, Thursday they have the Xbox showcase, which I think there might be some gems in there. I don't know. I'm going to watch that one. That might be some fire stuff in there in that lineup. What you got? Um, I guess I'll just play some audio in the background while I watch or look at um, Groundsman's games. Uh, it's neat because there's this character, Callus, who's been sort of in the backstory for a really, really long time. And this seems to be when he is coming back with the witness who has empowered him to oh, please. really help the Cabal give the Guardians a run for their money. I forget you have Phasmophobia. Uh, I'm really, really excited about this. And I don't know today how it actually see. is the new season, Season of Plunder, where the ARC abilities were reworked. And I'm, I could talk about Oh, you got Fall Guys? I should probably get Fall Guys too yeah. on my computer. Yeah. Um, your time in, in Destiny 1 and 2, just you know, since 2013. It's like 2000 it's in, hours. Yeah, it's in the thousands. Oh, there we go. All hours, games. So. There we go. All uh, games. What you saw clearly. I mean, you had a big smile on your face the whole time you were talking about that. So, well, people like Fall Guys, so there's that. Fall Guys and Fast One, yep, those are two options right there. The right if you want to go to Fall yeah, Guys, absolutely. <laughs> Lightfall is something that people have been looking forward to for a long time. Let's and uh, let's go by today, we found out that name. they're bringing back a King's Fall raid, that they're not going to do content on Sunday. So, it's not just Lightfall, it's also all of the other announcements that sort of came along with it. And it's is PUBG still popular oh. today. Yeah, I have had some phobia. I played it with some friends um, once. That was back in June last year, or July last year. Uh, Jonathan, I want to go next to. I played a little bit of it. I thought it was going to be like a really scary one. I guess. I thought Fast Phobia was going to be a scary game. It wasn't really that scary. 
Popper game? Okay, Puffy's so Popper. All right. That might be another option. Significant because of who's involved. Um, uh, it's a gentleman by the name of Leslie. Hey, yeah, Payday 2. I never liked Sea of Thieves. I never liked it. With him, but Leslie was one of the primary creative forces. Yeah, I'm, I'm just starting to get games on my computer. I have most of my games on my PlayStation. For 20 years, uh, there was a somewhat public... Uh, Wound up in New I York. say ugliness in the, divorce the choice is, is between now, Phasmophobia, studio, uh, I guess Fall Guys, if you want to play that, that and PUBG, since PUBG is popular again. But I think purposefully. Then after that, you can go back to Seven uh, Days. You know, we see some elements of what was it, was it called combat, again? of jumping around, Seven Days to Die, there we go. Uh, driving, but then they all, they talk, talked extensively in this sort of behind the scenes. Yeah, look all right, so yeah, this, this is going to be the plan. Either you can stream from the beginning portion. You can stream either Fall Guys or PUBG. And after you had your fill, you can stream either Seven Days to Die or Ark. You know, things like Metaverse were not said, but it feels like it could exist in that sort of space. So we'll see what happens there. But Dead Island 2, though, that was that was nice. PUBG right now. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Maybe fantasy, bright, colorful Um, I think I'm out of the... I don't think I'm interested in... Battle Royale shooters anymore? Maybe. We'll see. I think Halo might be doing a Battle Royale, which I don't want them to, but I might try it, if that's true. Kind of a Halo fan. Yeah. I was going to play something after the showcase ended, but I'm kind of hungry, so I'll probably just make something to eat and do it tomorrow. Yeah. Nothing confirmed, but you were you were digging around. The uh, the internet was digging around as the internet does. Yeah, there was some after this announcement and, and I, was, I said yeah, do PUBG. I say play PUBG since you're reinstalling it. I got a friend to play. Is remember friend? Boom, both best of both worlds. Job listings and interest there, and obviously stuff like that can be very. And yeah, the seven days no. So it might not be the game for everyone, if even though it goes everywhere. I'm trying to think. Would Ark do well? Or would seven days to die do well? The stream. I'm not sure. If there's any truth to that, I'm out. Like, nobody has proven that NFTs or anything like that. NFT, what are they talking about? NFTs, Most stop that. Mute that. How that. dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Oh. Yeah, I was waiting on the Game Pass, because there's a game that's supposed to come out soon. I've been looking forward to. Arc is usually better if you shoot. Okay, I say play Arc afterwards, then. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Because this is a, a person who is one of the most decorated, you know, I mean, the, the resume. People keep asking for GTA. GTA is so not on here on this game. The question I have is, you know, Day 2 is not here. Uh, well, clearly talented has had access Let to me, uh, switch something real quick. unlimited budgets for the last 20 years because, <laughs> yeah. you know, Rockstar, Rockstar North particularly is able to, they do, they've done whatever they want and they've raised the bar with every new Grand Theft Auto uh, release. So then, yeah. do his new uh, corporate partners have let me just a, a mute YouTube real quick. I don't know if you can see my screen, but I've been looking forward to Midnight Fight Express, this game right here. I've been looking forward to this. I played the demo. I love it. It's only on the Game Pass. Apparently Death Strand is on here too. I mean, I don't think I'm going to play that, but that's on here. Wolfenstein? Oh, that's right. Quake. Quake games on some Bethesda games on here. How much space is this? That might be tomorrow where I play this. How much space is this? About seven gigs? Okay, okay. Nice, nice. Very nice, very nice. What is this? Well, Groundsman TV, I'm gonna head out now. I'm thankful you joined my stream. I'm probably gonna make something to eat. And in the meantime, if you're streaming, then I'll probably stop by your stream too to see what you're up to. <laughs> oh wait, before that, let me see if this works. I had created a new scene. Let me see if this works. Oh.
sure that worked or not. All right, cool, cool. Uh, a random what? I just want to make sure that worked or not. All right, cool, cool. Uh, a random what? I just want to make sure that worked or not. I saw. And arc? No. That's seven days to die. Why is that hard to say for me? <laughs> Hear an echo? Oh. I muted it. Do you hear it now? Oh, Warcraft. Oh, you have Warcraft too? Oh, okay, okay. Hopefully you're not hearing an echo now. You shouldn't be. Not let me see what I can do to stop that from happening. Good? Okay, all right. Yay. So I'm gonna make sure my new little transition and I guess scene was all right and it looks like it's okay. I'm gonna have to load the audio down for the bubbles, but yeah. I think I always wanted to try Warcraft, but me as a kid back then didn't know how to make it work. So I never got into it. Um, but I'm gonna head out now. I It's a chore. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'm glad I didn't get into it then. And there's like a lot of planning too you gotta do if you like do raids. Oh, they gave you all oh, daily chores, like actual chores. Hey. <laughs> like challenges to do or something. Let me get some background music while we, while we chat for a bit. We're gonna listen to this goofy music. <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not. Just... Sure, listen to this. Bobby, wait. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but what type of chores do they give you in Warcraft? Is the most long? Is that the longest running game ever? Might be. I don't know another like live service game like that, or a game that's been running for as long as Warcraft has been. You leaving? All right, groundsman. Take it easy. I need to make something to eat right now. <laughs> the hunger. Deuces, everybody. Let me end screen. Running through all the 